Now, forewarn weather with exclusive cutting edge technology to help keep you and your family safe. All right, let's get a check of the forecast now as Ashley's back to uh, walk us through, get us through today and then on to this gorgeous looking week we got. That's right. So one little hump to get over this evening and then the sunshine returns and yeah, you know, I'm not giving you the pass to call off work, but there might be a couple good days to get a round of golf in for those that you might not see me tomorrow. <laughs> yeah, I know we might not see you, but I don't think you'll be uh, hitting the links at like, you know, oh, 430 in the morning. Oh, how do you know? <laughs> right now, as we take a live look outside Ann Arbor, mostly cloudy sky, 60 degrees, though we've had a few peaks of sun, which have been uh, a nice little surprise because most of lower Michigan has been under overcast skies, and now we're replacing some of that sunshine with the cloud cover. But 60 degrees in Ann Arbor, southeasterly breeze out there. Live look at Mount Clemens, same kind of sky conditions. 61 right now in Detroit, 65 in Howell, 63 in Port Huron, a little cooler in Monroe, 59. As we scour the map across lower Michigan, pretty consistent temperatures on the board. All of us on either side of 60, even off into Muskegon, 61, same in Ludington, and this is where the rain showers are starting to inch a little bit closer. So your forecast for today, 68. It's going to be a little later into the afternoon and evening before that rain makes its way eastward here across Metro Detroit. Winds will be out of the east about 5 to 10 miles per hour throughout the afternoon. For tonight, 48 for the overnight low, so rather seasonal. Mostly cloudy skies, but a sprinkler or two can't be ruled out. We will be drying out before daybreak tomorrow, and so the clouds will break apart throughout the afternoon, giving way to sunshine, but temperatures will probably be a little closer to what they are today in the upper 60s, exactly where we should be for this time of May. Looking at your allergy forecast, so if you have some sniffles and sneezes or a little bit of a scratchy throat, we're suffering from that in our household as we've been spending a lot of time outside. Well, trees are probably the culprit for you. That's a high allergen across southeastern Michigan right now. Moderate levels of grass. And speaking of those trees, though, here are some beautiful shots. They are in full bloom and absolutely gorgeous across the area. So Michelle in Farmington Hills setting this one in for us. And then we have the beautiful white blooming trees too. Victoria um, setting this one in from Detroit. So you can send in your MyPick photos on ClickOnDetroit.com or our Forewarn Weather app, and we can show them right here on Local 4. Clouds and radar forecast. So we've stopped the clock at 7 p.m. So this will be clipping the tail end of that evening rush hour drive scattered showers across the area. So not widespread and it's a quick passing shower as by 6 a.m. tomorrow cloudy skies and then we peel back the clouds throughout the afternoon. So three o'clock in the afternoon. There's the sunshine for you. High pressures building in and that sticks with us throughout the middle of the week. So we're going to have even more clear conditions going into your Wednesday. As you see, not a whole lot to show you with the data there. So weather story late afternoon, early evening rain showers today. So that's going to fizzle out throughout the overnight. We turn drier with sunshine really most of the week before some more rain creeps back in the forecast late on Friday and a couple chances lingering into the week. Again. So here's a look at how this shapes up for Friday, showing that we have some moisture starting to roll in from the south by about three o'clock in the afternoon and throughout the evening. That'll become a little bit more widespread. We're still several days out, so the timing and exact placement of that could fluctuate. Otherwise, Saturday kind of spotty to our south, nothing too impressive. Late Sunday evening is when our rain chances arrive. So your future forecast shows that we will be right around 70 on Wednesday, getting in the mid to upper 70s to round out the work week. Mother's Day, slight chance for a shower, but still hanging tight in the 70s for the end of the weekend.